Hi, my, <coughs> my lovely viewers. Thank you for coming back to watch my channel again. I'm so humbled. Thank you for subscribing to our family. It's increasing each day, and that makes me so happy. If you're new to this channel, feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. Meet the lap mom here. Deborah Nanchuka is my name. I created this channel to give my viewers hope and encourage you to be optimistic. No situation is permanent. Once you choose to work with God, everything is possible. So today, my sharing is about the loss of deserved blessings. As you can see the title. But before that, let's pray. Well, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the gift of life. I want to do our sharing. Ask you to bless us. Help us where we can have a great impact on our lives. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. The loss of deserve the blessings. I can illustrate this one. You find somebody, maybe a lady, your fiancé. You decide to put all your efforts to use all your resources to this person. Maybe you take this person to school. They finish even up to university. But now that gives you a guarantee that now you deserve this lady at the end of the journey, maybe after she finishes. Maybe you deserve her as a wife. You keep yourself reminding yourself each day. But maybe you mess, you mess maybe some small small mistakes you you can see this is a small mistake this cannot have any effect or cannot have any impact maybe at the end of the journey this lady finishes campus maybe she is employed and then for after some time somebody maybe calls you and tells you congra congratulations maybe for your wedding and then you get surprised which wedding maybe you will hear the, the wedding from someone else Somebody will tell you, you know what, but your fiancé has just posted that your wedding is in two days' time or one week time. That is when you get surprised that whatever you had deserved, it is not yours anymore. It sucks. Sure. And then you start now making a follow-up. By the end of the day, you find that you've lost. So heartbreaking. Sure, this is heartbreaking. This is exactly what we are going to share today, and the key verse from the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 2 to 3. That is that will be our key verse. Reuben, Reuben was the son of Jacob, being the firstborn son, he deserved Jacob's blessings as the firstborn son. But let's see what happened. When Jacob now had become old, he was around 147 years old, and now he was about to die. He was, uh, he was aged. And now he called Joseph. You know Joseph very well, because now they were living in Egypt. Now Joseph had taken them to in Egypt. And now he called Joseph and told him, I want you to bring your two sons, that is now the grandchildren of Jacob. That it that uh, oh and Ephraim and Manasseh, and then Joseph brought them. Then this man, that one is in chapter forty-seven, the whole of chapter forty-seven of Genesis. He blessed two sons of Joseph, that is Ephraim and Manasseh, and told them that they would be greater. All the blessings that were supposed to be taken to Reuben. He gave them to the sons of Joseph and told Joseph that now these are my sons. The one you get after them will be your sons for now. These are my sons. Those were the grandchildren of Joseph. So I was like, how could he uh, do something like that? Because he had 12 sons. But from for all the 12 sons, he did not give his blessings to any of them. In 49, he gives us the reasons why. He did that that is exactly what i want us to hear let's read uh chapter 49 verse 2 to 3 my good news virtual records come together and listen sons of jacob listen to your father israel reuben my firstborn you are my strength and the first child of my manhood 
the proudest and the strongest of all my sons uh, for you are like a raging flood but you will not be the most important for you slept with my concubine and dishonored your father's bed we already have the reason why he was not given these blessings maybe he had been waiting for these blessings for so long and he thought that he deserved them as the firstborn son but what this man did he had to tell him the reason why he did not give him his blessings that he deserved as the first child. I like Jacob, the way he conducted this. So, what do we learn from this story? We might be sinning, doing evil things, and we just uh, despise them like these are just small, small things. Maybe they will not have an effect in our lives. Everybody deserves that kingdom of heaven because Jesus died for our sins. So it's like we are sure that we will inherit that kingdom of heaven. So what I can tell you is that any mistakes we do and sins we do, they are being recorded. The angels are recording our mistakes. So when God comes the second time, maybe we'll be very happy because we might think that we deserve to inherit that kingdom of heaven, of which we might not inherit because god is going to call our names and now maybe we are going our mistakes are going to be read like the luck mom you remember you did this and this and this maybe that i have been very happy we have been waiting for god but now he has come and now we will not inherit that kingdom because of the evil things we did and we forgot maybe we didn't repent this man Reuben, had slept with the concubine of his father Jacob but Jacob maybe kept this thing in heart because he told him the last minute he was going to die because he was aged after giving his blessings to his grandchildren he was now able to give the reason why even though he was the most important the first child of his manhood he did not give him the blessings that he deserved he had to lose the blessings to the grandchildren so in case you've been, as Christians, let's be warned, Jesus died for our sins. Let's repent. We'll be forgiven. So that it will not be too late for us when God comes that we will not be able to inherit that kingdom of heaven because our sins will be read and we'll be find, found guilty. So this is a warning to us that we need to repent. Anything we do, let's repent to be forgiven because Jesus died for our sins. All the same we want to inherit that kingdom of heaven that is where we deserve to be if you like this video thumbs up you can subscribe to this channel for more sharing may god bless you so much see you next time bye